Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is very special video for all those who are waiting for the iOS 15 jailbreak. But before that, as I mentioned so many times, I have created the new YouTube channel that is Just a Tech 2.0 and make sure you subscribe that channel for more exclusive content and press the notification bell so that you will never miss the update. You will get the channel link from the description. All right, now let's talk about today's topic. So in today's video, I will show you how you can jailbreak the latest iOS 15 to the 15 15.7.1 on various iPhones and iPad or iPod Touch model. I will show you the complete process like how you can jailbreak and install the package manager that is Celio and with that you will get the tweak injection support that means you can install your tweaks after the jailbreak. It's a complete jailbreak and this jailbreak will be the semi third jailbreak and currently I have a iPhone SE first generation that is currently jailbroken on the iOS 15 and you will see the tips app on the home screen and you will see some changes in the tips app but if you see the different Default original tips app you will see the normal one because the bootstrap and the Celio package manager files and loader are injected in this tips app so I'm very excited to show you the complete jailbreak process so let me just go to my computer screen and start this process alright now I'm on my Mac so if you are a Windows user and you want the same process for the Windows system you can write it in the comments and let me know I will make the Windows process also and if you want some exclusive early update you can join the telegram channel and other social media handle you will get from the description link alright Right now the jailbreak we will use that is the bell range jailbreak it's a semi tethered jailbreak for ios 15 to the 15.7.1 that support all the iphones ipad or ipod models that support the checkmate exploit that means the iphone 6s and above to the iphone x are supported and other corresponding ipad models that support the checkmate jailbreak like ipad air 2 ipad 5th and 6th generation ipad 7th generation ipad 12.9 first and second generation ipad 10.5 that means all these iPad models and iPhone models that support the Checkmate jailbreak are supported with this jailbreak. Also, I will mention the supported devices list on the screen. So you can check out the official GitHub page. They are everything written there. Also, there are some tweak compatibility with this jailbreak. So with the tweaks, you can check out which tweaks are compatible and which are not. And if you have a 11 device like iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone X, you need to off your passcode, touch ID or face ID before proceeding with this jailbreak. Like in the check run also, they are not supported with a SEP. So in this also, the A11 device, there is no SEP. Also with the A10 devices like iPhone 7, 7 Plus has same issue. So you need to off your passcode. And then after that, you can proceed with the jailbreak. So all the information are mentioned on the GitHub page. So you can read carefully and then you can proceed. Now the jailbreak will come with the two mode. One is a semi tethered jailbreak with the tweak support. Another one is the normal without semi tethered And that also support the tweak. And if you have a device with a storage of 16 gigs and lower, I don't recommend you to use the semi tethered jailbreak because in the semi tethered jailbreak they will create a fake partition in that they will take more space so it's recommended that if you use the semi tethered mode in that you will require the minimum of the 32 GB and above and if you have a lower space like 16 gigs and lower you can try the normal mode without semi tethered in that you can easily install it for the lower end devices all right now before I install this jailbreak you need some important packages and libraries installed on your Mac system first is a homebrew you have to copy that command and open the terminal and paste this and click on enter and it will start installing and you have to enter your mac password now after that click on enter once again and it will start installing on your system if you already have these you can skip this step and move further now it's done and if you see any errors or it will ask you for the permission you can enter and paste this command on the screen i will give all this command list in the description or you can download it from my blog and paste one by one now once it will done you need to install some other packages so let me just show you how you can do that you need to copy this it's an lib mobile device and i device recovery drivers so paste that and hit on enter and it will start downloading on your system so wait for it to get complete Now it's done and if you get any permission error you can run the sudo chmon that above command I have mentioned on the screen. Once everything is done you need to install the libusb and libusb marksd and open ssl so you can copy the command and paste it one by one. Alright now all the libraries and commands are installed. Next thing you will require the latest python version that is 3. So you can download the latest python for mac from the official website and simply install it.
all right now the python is also installed so i've installed all these required packages so we are ready to install the fail range jailbreak i told you all the important points before in the starting of the video like what are the supported models and on the 8 and 11 device you need to turn off the passcode or touch id or face id and after that you can proceed in the jailbreak and the most important point if you want to use the semi threaded part jailbreak you will require the more than 16 gigs of device like 32 64 and above and after that you can use the semi threaded option in that they will create the fake storage in your device to use the jailbreak so with that you will require more storage in your device but if you have a less like 8 gb or 16 gb you will require to use the normal mode without semi tethered in that your tweaks will also work but in that only they will not create any fake partition everything is same so there is a slightly change in the command with a semi threaded jailbreak and the normal jailbreak so i will show you how you can do that and install both of the jailbreak so all the information are written here so you can read or you can refer the official github page everything are written there too now to install this you need to copy this git command git clone and there is a path of that jailbreak you need to open the terminal and paste it so let me just clear the window now first i will recommend you to install it on your desktop so you will get the cd desktop so that your path will be changed so now you can see we are on our desktop path now after that just copy that command and paste it on the terminal now it will clone the directory to your desktop name of the palerin folder so now you can see we get the directory so now just wait for it to get complete it will download around 300 to 400 mb file so just wait patiently and then we will see how you can install it Alright now the download is done and you will notice we are already in the palerin directory. If you still want to confirm it, you can just come out like cd space dot dot and after that you will see the palerin folder on your desktop. You have to just click on the cd and give space and palerin folder type and after that hit on enter. There is another way you can type the cd, drag and drop the palerin folder and hit on enter. You will get into the same directory. Now you will see all the files are there. There are some ramdis file, blog files and also the readme file. All the important information are written in the readme file also that are same available on the github page. Also all the checkmate exploit drivers are there and different point dfu mode. So all these are the content of the palerin folder. So now next you need to install one more command and then you are ready to install the jailbreak directory. So you need to copy the second command and that is dot slash palerin.sh. The palerin.sh file is available in the folder and after that hyphen hyphen and then you need to type the tweaks. Now give space and you need to enter your exact iOS version. So it's better to let me just connect my device side by side and show you the iPhone screen also so that we will see the complete jailbreak process ongoing on the iPhone screen. Alright now my iPhone AC first generation is connected and it's running on the latest iOS 15 and as you can see that all the apps is crashing and I'm currently not jailbroken. So let me just confirm you the iOS version. I'm currently running on the 15.5 but this support the 15.7.1 also till the iPhone X all the checkmate devices are supported. So now I will complete that command on the terminal by entering the 15.5 after that you need to enter the hyphen hyphen semi and hyphen thetered so in this case only if you have a 32 gb or above device storage space only use the semi threaded mode in those as it will create the fake storage as i mentioned earlier and if you have a 8 gb or 16 gb don't use the semi threaded you can leave the command till the ios version and after that you can proceed and it will work for you so all the things are mentioned here make sure you read it and after that you can proceed Now everything is set, now you need to put your device into DFU mode to proceed for the jailbreak. Now once you entered the complete command, just hit on enter and as I mentioned, if you have a normal device with a lower space, you have to just leave it till the iOS version, don't enter the semi threaded thing and just hit on enter and it will work for you. Now just click on enter. Now sometimes in between the exploit is failed and on the terminal you will see some kind of error. So don't worry about that just on your device again and put your device into the DFU mode and run that command again and it will work. And if you still face the issue you can remove the semi threaded line from the main command and you can keep the command till the iOS version it will make the threaded with the tweak version. 
so that will also work for the lower end and the other device now in this mode it will ask you to confirm on the screen so you can type yes and after that follow the instruction on the screen to continue So now you can see on the iPhone screen you will see the Palerun logo, it starts sending the RAM disk file so it will take around 10 to 15 minutes so make sure you have connected with a fast internet and wait for it to get complete. So now you can see your device will start reboot automatically and go into the recovery mode and when you see the recovery mode you will see the instruction on the screen also like same your device will get into the recovery mode and then you have to press the button combination to put your device into the DFU mode and then you can continue with any key on the screen. So now you can see my device is on the recovery mode. So now I will press the button combination. You have to press any key on that terminal you can press enter and after that it will start continue now just follow the instruction on the screen or it's better you can put your device manually into the dfu mode and then you can press enter on the terminal so it will just skip that step and move further so now you can see it's almost completed and just wait for a device to get complete booted to the home screen So now you can see we have successfully done the terminal thing and it's completely jailbreak now. Now wait for your device to get on the home screen. So now you can see the device is on. Now after that first thing you need to open the tips icon so that you can install the pogo loader and Celio and the subtrude. So I've already jailbroken that's why it's showing these icon but in your case you need to open the tips icon first and you can install the bootstrap and all you have to click on that and it will install everything now it will ask you to allow the options from the tool you have to click on allow all and if it's not asking you you can manually allow it from the tools you can just go to the tools option and click on allow all and that's all so now you can just click on allow all and everything is set now after that everything is set and you will see the Celio icon on your home screen now you have successfully jailbroken iOS 15 with this build range jailbreak. You can add any repo and use the compatible tweak. I have shown you the compatible tweak list in the starting of the video from that GitHub page so you can follow that. You can update all the required packages first in order to give you the smooth experience of the Celio. Now you can see you can search any compatible tweak you want. So these are the steps you can follow and jailbreak your device. And make sure this pail rain is a semi tethered or tethered jailbreak. So if you reboot the device, you need to re-jailbreak it again with the system. But this time you don't have to require so many things or so many commands running or download all the packages just like we done in the first stage. You just need to run one command and in that the jailbreak will be done in the 10 second. You just need to put your device into the DFU mode and run the single command again and after that your jailbreak will be completed in the 10 to 15 second as we already download all the files in this folder and as you can see that the size will be increased and you can check the size accordingly. So you don't have to download all the files or wait for the complete jailbreak process again and again after the reboot. But just make sure that you don't delete that Palerun folder from the desktop. You just need to open the terminal, give that part of the Palerun folder, connect your device into the DFU mode. Now as you can see, I have currently non-jailbroken state. Now I will just connect it again, open the terminal. Now use the command again that is dot slash Palerun or give the sudo permission first and give space hyphen hyphen tweaks give space and enter your ios version if you want to use the semi tethered you can dash hyphen hyphen semi hyphen tethered or if you want to use a tethered mode you can just uh, leave that till the ios version but make sure that as i mentioned in the starting of the video that if you use a semi tethered your device must be uh, 32 gigs and above version and if you have a lower version like 8 gigs or 16 gigs normal use a tethered version tell the is version you need to type and hit on enter and it will just jailbreak your device so now you can see it just hardly take 10 to 15 seconds in order to complete the jailbreak again after the reboot so that's why you have download all the files that's why it's so fast so you can use your device again normally after the reboot and re jailbreak it
So now you can see everything looks good and my device is again successfully jailbreak with a Pell Rain on the latest iOS 15. So you can try the same method and easily jailbreak your device that support the checkmate exploit. If you want to see the windows version and want to do all that on your windows machine just write me on the comments I will make the separate windows tutorial. So that is all for this video. If you like my content just hit the like button and if you are new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates. I will see you in the next video so till then goodbye take care and peace out.